The stunning end to the Bruins' record-setting 2022-23 campaign has set the stage for a difficult offseason. The team now faces many hard decisions and questions as they regroup for the coming year. It will be the centennial year of hockey for the Boston Bruins. And while there is plenty to celebrate in their history, this current team must remake their roster due to the salary cap, plus deal with the potential loss of Patrice Bergeron and David Krejci to retirement. Before moving on to the offseason, the hockey world heads down to Nashville, Tennessee, which will be hosting the NHL Draft as well as the NHL Awards, where the Bruins will be well represented. Head coach of the Boston Bruins, Jim Montgomery! Not surprisingly, it turns out to be a big night for the men from Boston, starting with number 37's record-shattering sixth Selkie Award. Patrice Bergeron. This is an incredible honor. I want to thank the Boston Bruins organization. Of course, my incredible teammates. It's an honor to compete alongside all of you. Thank you for making me a better player and person. Following the captain, the good times continue when Jim Montgomery takes home a very meaningful Jack Adams Award as the NHL's best coach. Three and a half years ago, the Dallas Stars terminated my contract because of my struggles with alcohol and I had to change my actions and behaviors. And that's when my new team, the most important team in my life, has really, is what leads to the success that I live daily right now. And for those who struggle out there, um, you can change, you can affect change within yourself, and it doesn't happen alone. You need a team. I'm very appreciative for both teams that I'm lucky to be a part of that help me on a daily basis. Thank you. Not to be outdone by his captain or his coach, goaltender Linus Allmark is next up for some hardware. All right, and the Vesna Trophy goes to Linus Allmark. Yeah. Wow, uh, huge honor. I want to thank, obviously, my teammates. Without you, I wouldn't be able to stand up here today. I want to thank the uh, Jacobs family, Don Sweeney, uh, Cam Neely, and the whole Boston Bruins organization. Thank you. Thanks, man. You too. Very well deserved. Huh? Yeah. You too. You went out and earned it. You guys got it for me. <laughs> May I have you guys it? Too. So it'll go really slow. I'll give you direction for each time. You'll okay. see it'll go really slow. Do you have a barf bag? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you ready? Yes. We're gonna go that way. Okay. Here we go. Um, so just hold it kind of yeah, just pose like that. It'll, you'll go, you'll go around. <laughs> you'll let yourself go around. You gotta let yourself let yourself We'll be fine. I can go, I'm like an owl. I can stand here all day. Along with his well-deserved Vesna, Linus picks up the Jennings Trophy, which is awarded to the NHL goaltenders with the fewest goals allowed as a team. So it is an award that number 35 shares with his teammate, Jeremy Swayman. I wish this way was here, though. I really do. It's a wee thing. You should call him right now. Want me to FaceTime him? Yeah, do FaceTime. See if he answers. Yeah. Yes. Oh my God. What's up, buddy? See here? That is yours as well. So we're just taking. That's yours. That's the Jennings trophy. Oh, it's a wee thing. That's a wee thing. And that's a me thing. With a little bit of. It's a little bit of you as well. So, so we told everybody that we're going to take a picture. So. Smile for the camera. You see what I have to make you do sometimes? Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, now we can see him. Look at him with the nice. fire. Nice. See him? Put him right next to the beaver. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Stay there. Oh, you guys are great. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do that again. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Perfect. Sorry, I'm sick of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye. I'll talk to you later. Love you, brother. Take care. Bye. <laughs> yeah. 
Sway's not here, no hogs to delete. <laughs>
the best shot of my life. No! He's so lucky. That's so lucky. Good job, Maddie. Is it Riley? Johnny? Oscar? The Bruins will be celebrating 100 years of hockey this season, and on the shores of the beautiful Kootenay Lake in British Columbia, the man who represents that incredible history more than any other is enjoying his summer. It's the legendary number nine, Johnny Busick, who first joined the Bruins in 1957 and has been a part of the organization ever since. He was a captain on the 1970 and 1972 Stanley Cup champion squads, and though he retired back in 1978, he remains the team's all-time leader in goals scored. Well, today we'll go to my boat for a little uh, run on the lake, and then after that we'll go fishing. Maybe we'll catch some nice fish for, for dinner tonight. Hey, we're, we're off. Now in his late 80s, the chief remains active over the summer months, working around his cottage, spending time with his family, boating, and fishing. <laughs> okay. Hey. <laughs> and I always say, I just love being a Bruin. I'm very proud to be one. I've had a lot of fun, and most of all, I appreciate the Bruins keeping me on. I just finished my 66th season with the organization. Now, can you imagine anybody spending 66 years with the same job on anyone? You just don't hear of it. Not surprisingly, the people of Johnny's local community know and love him. In fact, they have recognized him with the highest of hockey honors a rink that bears his name, the Johnny Busick Arena. Ah, there we go. <laughs> this is the rink. And you can see the community really supported. Look at all the support signs, you know, the little town. Yep, we in the corner. We got the big banner. It's, it was an honor, you know? I mean, it's, it's quite a thing, quite a deal. But I was very thrilled and excited when they did. It has certainly been a historic hockey life for Johnny Busick, but you can count on seeing him around TD Garden once again this season and being a big part of the Bruins centennial celebration. Uh, but uh, it's been fun. I, I just so happy and would I do it again? Yes. From 2007 to 2015, Milan Lucic was a physical presence and a big part of the team's Stanley Cup win in 2011. Now, after eight years, number 17 is happy to be back home in Boston, even if a few things have changed. None of, none of this was here. None of this was here. Well, when I started, none of that was here, but it's all here now, so. So do they have condos up there or no? Our offices are up there now. Yeah? Yeah, then I heard there's like a bar now on the top floor where like the ninth floor of the garden too. Yeah. It's crazy. Good news to have you back, man. Yeah, it's good to be back. That's awesome, man. I was here in 2011 when you guys won the cup. Nice. Awesome. awesome. Good to meet you, man. Yeah, you too. Have a great day. Thank you. Back, <laughs> so here's what you'll come to learn. I'm the only person that looks like me, so that's why I'm very recognizable. There's not a lot of people with a back like this and a nose like this. So that's why, you know, that's what someone told me and that's what I go by now. <laughs> and I was like, that actually makes a lot of sense. Back in the neighborhood, huh? Back in the neighborhood. <laughs> I was in the neighborhood. How you doing? Good, you? Oh man, good to see you. Good to see you. Welcome back, huh? We're back, baby. Yes, man. We're back. I can, hey, I can make you potatoes again. Yes. Fine. <laughs> Lava, was it? I, I walked on the north end and everywhere I was like, Luch just walked by, Luch just walked by. Nice. I found the heavy bag. All right. 
I'll Love see you, you in uh, September. Yes. All right. Yeah. Love you, man. All right, see you. See you at work next time, huh? Yes. The city of Boston isn't the only thing that's changed since Looch last wore black and gold. He left before the team opened their state-of-the-art practice home at Warrior Ice Arena. Yeah, it's still on there. Hey! hey. <laughs> What's, What's up? up? How's it going? Good, man. How you doing? Good. What's going on? Not much. Good to see you. You too, brother. You too. A little different from Wilmington. Yeah, a little bit different. <laughs> it's nice though. It's real nice. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So, Pasta's down there with Marshy. Okay. But he was saying Pasta might switch his stall, so. Let's see. Oh, sweet. Uh, sweet. <laughs> How you doing? Great. Nice to Good to see you too. Huh? Yeah, thanks for bringing me back. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Happy to have you back. Yeah. Family's excited? I hope. Uh, yeah, everyone's really excited. Good. Yeah, they can't wait to come, so. Yeah. It's all nice. All nice in you. Yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, huh? it's great. This is awesome. I did the turf, so it's oh, yeah? So even it, yeah, because I remember seeing on Instagram it was green before, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah? yeah? Nice. All right. Great to see you too. Yeah. Thank you. All right, enjoy. Over at Warrior Ice Arena, the work continues for the Bruins prospects at the team's summer development camp. The work isn't just on the ice. These young players are also finding out what it takes to become a Boston Bruin. And who better to speak on that subject than Hockey Hall of Famer and Bruins legend, Raymond Bork. You know, I ended up winning a cup in Colorado. I went there for a year and a half and won in 2001, but you know, I played black and gold, so. Look at my teammates, ask them about what kind of attitude I brought every day. I was pushing it every day. I was coming after you every day. In the gym, I was doing it every day. Whatever was asked, I was doing it, trying to be perfect at it. And you know what? You're never going to be perfect. It's a game of mistakes. You're going to feel like it's going to be whatever. You're never going to be perfect, but trying to reach that perfectionist in a constructive way, and that kind of attitude, is what a Bruin is all about. I'll be watching, and uh, I just want to wish you the best of luck, and hopefully I'll see you know, one of you guys in a Bruins uniform soon. And if not, keep working at it. If it's not soon, it could be a little later. Nothing wrong with that. Good luck, boys. It's not all work for the Bruins development camp though. There is also some time for the guys to have some fun and build some camaraderie, which is why the boys are at Fenway Park for a little batting practice with Red Sox hero, Jonathan Papelbon. All right, here's the deal, boys. I don't do nothing unless we're competing. I don't come out here for fun. You know, I come out here to, to meet y'all and let's have a little friendly competition, right? Alright, back to the outfield. There you go, back to the outfield. Stay, stay off the outfield. Stay off the outfield. Oh! Get there. Get to the wall. Yeah. Yeah. Step to the pitcher. Step to the pitcher where you swing, kid. Yeah. Among the hitters today is promising young defenseman Mason Lorai who signed a two-year entry-level contract with the Bruins last spring. But today, it's all about baseball. All right, time to shine. Oh, let's take this one right. Slap shot that <laughs> Five, five tries. Give me ten, I'm hitting one out. Oh. Get off me! Oh. Get off me! Keep going. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Up 
up in the north country of rural Vermont, a familiar face has returned to New England. Fed back by Downey. To the back it comes Brewer and shot went wide rebound. Oh, and it went go! Tim Thomas, one of the heroes of the 2011 Bruins Stanley Cup run, has made Vermont, where he played college hockey, his permanent home. It's a beautiful property with plenty of space for Tim to hang out with his entire family. Ready? One, two, three. Awesome. <laughs> we came on vacation not planning to move, but once I got back up here again, I like started to think about it. And I, I was just driving around looking at houses, but my wife found one, this one. But as soon as I saw this, I was, I was sold, you know? Even for Vermont, it's kind of rare to have that much openness. And there's a beaver pond in the back there. And there's a creek that goes down each side in those trees and over there. Along with lots of beautiful land, Number 30's home also has a brand new memorabilia room to showcase some of the treasures yeah. from Tim's incredible career. So there's a lot actually packed into a little area in here. They have different sections. Got the Vermont section, there's Marty St. Louis. Then obviously we got a USA hockey side. 1980 Olympics was a, a big impact on me at that age and uh, made me want to be goalie actually, Jim Craig. He knows that, I've gotten to meet him, it's great. We got two walls for the Bruins of course. We got Zdeno Chara's uh, thousandth game that he signed and, and personalized to me. We got, uh, this is the Winter Classic section as you can tell. That was, a, that was a cool event, right? It was the first one for Boston. It wasn't the first one in the NHL, but the first one at Fenway. And, uh... <laughs> Someone wanted to be on video. Since I'm not, I wasn't that old, I still kind of look at this as like a fan's perspective. Like, obviously, I, he's my dad and he's done all this stuff, but I didn't get to actively see it, so I come down and I'm like, Whoa, this is so cool, man. Actually, you can give credit to my mom. I, I, I picked the pictures because I still have more, <laughs> you know? But my mom kind of figured out mostly where to, where to hang them up. I think I'm happy when I, I, the way it came out. And I, I had, I had a, when I was in Phoenix, I had a lot more space. And uh, we'd taken up a lot more space. I didn't think it was going to fit in here. I didn't think I was going to be able to get as much up in here as I could. And I, I did, so I'm happy about that. In late July, word arrives that after a lot of soul searching, Patrice Bergeron has reached a decision on his future. Today, the Bruins captain is at TD Garden to announce his retirement. What's up? Hey, buddy. How you doing, man? Good to see you. See you. Good? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for everything. No, thank, thank you. Thank you. you. Love oh, you. Same here. Thank Good you. Luck. What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? Good to see you. Congratulations. Thank you. 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 It's been a ride. Yeah, yeah. It's not over. I know. <laughs> right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so just up the side. And oh, that's right. easy. That's easy. It's up. Yeah. Hey guys, thanks for being here today, guys. Appreciate it. And there's a lot of things that kind of influenced me, but obviously the uh, the main thing is probably the body and and you know, spending more time with, with the family and felt like uh, I wanted kind of to leave on, on top of my game and, and, and feeling good about it, but also thinking about the future and knowing that I want to continue to uh, be able to spend time with the family, but also being active. But to, to be remembered, I think it's more, uh, hopefully the, um, the connections and, and, and the way that I was trying to, to get to know people personally. And to me, that's what matters most. It has been an unforgettable 20-year journey for Patrice and the Boston Bruins. Soon his number 37 will hang in the TD Garden rafters 
and the Hockey Hall of Fame will be calling. But for his teammates, fans, and the man himself, it is an emotional moment. Thank you for everything. It's been an absolute honor. I couldn't be more grateful and thankful for, you know, being here. And it's been uh, it's been special. So the fans and everyone, you know, I'm thankful for, for the memories and everything that uh, you guys have brought to, to, to me and my family. Thanks, Patrice. Thanks, Thanks everybody. Let's see if we can find Fabian's house. <laughs> 3,582 miles northwest of Boston, in the Swedish city of Gothenburg, Former Bruin PJ Axelson, now the team's European scouting coordinator, is checking in on one of the club's top prospects, Fabian Lysel. Looks like you've done a lot of bench pressing this. Huh? Yeah. A lot of bench pressing I mean, this summer. Been, it's been a long summer. <laughs> I have to get oh, yeah. some uh, muscle on me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> good. Yeah. Everything's good. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. This is my uh, this is my house where I grew up. Hey. Um, I've lived there basically my whole life. You know, we haven't moved or anything, so. Uh, yeah, this is it. When Fabian is home in Gothenburg, he lives with his mom, Maria, his dad, Henrik, sister, Frida, and one very large cat named Zlatan. I'm not sure though, but I He's think so. He's so curious. Yeah, so this is uh, basically where I grew up. I think we had two separate rooms, like when we were kids, me and my sister. She had this side of the room, and then we had like a wall here, and then I had this side, so my bed would be like, on this corner, but now we uh, we shut down the wall, and now basically this whole thing is where I stay when I'm home. It's always been like just like a lot of just hockey stuff in here, uh, as you could tell. Um, I also have here. I think we got some stuff from just growing up and doing different sports. Uh, I actually uh, I was a pretty good runner. Uh, you wouldn't think so, but when I grew up, I, I did some races, and um, yeah, I was I was okay. So we didn't find any trophies, but this is like the best picture ever. I think it's, this is from his first <laughs> race when he was, I think you were three or maybe you were so mad you didn't win. Yeah, I think I came like dead last, and I remember <laughs> not even crossing the finish line, and I just lay down and like started crying because I was so upset I didn't win. I couldn't believe it. So. That was a good motto though. After that, I started, you know, training, and then after that, I got a little bit better, so. Living with his family has lots of advantages for Fabian. Home-cooked meals, quality time with his loved ones, plus a custom-built shooting ramp, courtesy of his dad, who is a carpenter by trade. Because it's Swedish summer, you have to have some of these because it's raining all the time. <laughs> Before, when he was younger, we practiced indoor in the bottom of our house in the basement during the winter mm -hmm. we had a, a goal inside there and uh, i think we broke four uh, windows and uh, a couple of goals <laughs> <laughs> so uh, i think this will be perfect yeah so you can come here during the summer and practice competition why not battle of gothenburg yeah He's got gloves. Like He's got gloves on. <laughs> it's got to be that. Yeah. Oh. Two nothing already. Oh, get up. See what's going on, Ted. One more. Yeah. Sweden is home to many of the Bruins' current players and prospects. So today in Stockholm, veteran defenseman Hampus Lindholm has been selected for an important task. The Grand Hotel, the oldest hotel in Sweden. We're uh, about to film some uh, the NHL uh, media tour here in Europe, and uh, I'm excited to share uh, with all you guys what's going on there today. With the large number of European players in the NHL, the league has set up an off-season player media tour on the continent. For the second year in a row, Hampus will spend the day doing interviews, 
social media, and some stuff you just can't prepare for. Talking about how last year you were one of like three people to do a correct prediction, so the pressure is oh. on for when we do oh, that okay. later. <laughs> what was his prediction? Well, yeah, what was it? Pa- do you remember? Was it pasta to wear the, some really outrageous outfits for pasta to score over 50 goals? Yeah, it was like 50 goals and 50 he crazy that. outfits yeah. or something. Yeah. Yeah. He called that in Paris last summer. Yeah. 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 You can only use one hand. One hand. And the goal is to get to the end. Oh. <laughs> Someone pressed the button here. Who did it? <laughs> Tap here for a reminder to watch NHL on TNT on opening night. <laughs> Obviously, the spooky bee is going to be running over Arizona. Sorry to say it, but I say 4 1 Boston. So, Relinus, you got to let one in for the fans. It's just, <laughs> just the way it works. <laughs> I'd already given up there. <laughs> I was laying it down. In mid August, after 15 seasons and over a thousand games, all with the Bruins, centerman David Krejci informs the team that he has decided to retire. It was obviously difficult, something you do all your life, and all of a sudden it's going to stop. Um, I'm sure I'm going to have some hard time moving forward, but uh, I just realized there's never a right time, never a right moment to to retire from uh, from NHL. But I felt like it was time. Um, I knew my body couldn't take 82 games anymore. But I do take pride in playing 1,000 games, playing for you know the Bru- Bruins organization for this many years. You know, the Bruins uh, kept uh, believing in me. They kept bringing me back. They kept offering me contracts. And... I just can't thank, thank them enough that I, I was able to come back and uh, play a thousand games for one franchise. The retirement of Patrice Bergeron and now David Krejci means the Bruins have lost two of their best players and team leaders. But number 46 is confident the next generation will step up. I mean, Boston, uh, there's like this culture that I understood what uh, what it takes to be a Bruins, uh, what it means to put put on the jersey, uh, and uh, I try to, you know, do it with pride and try to carry it on. And now you see the young guys coming in, and and the, the older guys kind of teaching them the ropes, and 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 now they got it. Pasta got it. Uh, Jack McAvoy, all those younger guys that they understand what it uh, what it means to wear that uh, jersey, and and there's no doubt in my in my mind that. Uh, uh, they'll be great leaders, and uh, uh, one day then they'll hand the torch to the younger generation. You know, Bruins as an organization, it's been uh, it's been so great, and it's gonna be fun watching them. It's gonna be fun uh, seeing the the young kids grow up into big leaders. And um, when I, I still have friends on the team, I can uh, I can get invited to a cup day or something. Back in Gothenburg, Sweden, Bruins prospect Fabian Lysel is headed to his daily workout and thinking about the future. I think last year I, I, I had some good stretches and then I dipped a little bit and then I came back. Uh, and then obviously like my goal for next year is to, uh, to make the team. Uh, I think um, this summer has been really good for me, uh, both like in terms of just like personal uh, development, but also physical. So. I'm really excited to go back there, and I'm just gonna, you know, trying to just enjoy the moment and trying to learn from uh, from all the guys that's been there uh, for a long period. So uh, I'm excited to uh, go back there. But that's the gym right there. It's called uh, M21. Good, very good. Helping Fabian work his way towards the NHL is his trainer Adam Sunquist who is very pleased with the young forward's effort and results this summer. He's been doing uh, so much progress these last weeks. So this right now is, is, is a new personal best if he, can, if he can make this. Come on. Explosive. There you go. <laughs> What's going on, man? That was lightweight. I think I got a couple more kilos in me here. 
don't know how much time we got though. <laughs> His jumping is one of the best I've ever seen. Like, unreal. There you go. Nice. He's almost not even putting in effort. Like, it's unreal. Sometimes a week I go in the morning. Like today, I think I'll go now and then I'll skate and then I'll take a couple hours and then I'll come back and do uh, some other stuff like in the evening. Um, I'd say, I guess, like five, six times a week, probably. Four jumps as far as you can. Come on, let's go. Told you. Three, two, one, go, come on. Push, 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 push. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Done, nice job. As the calendar turns to September and training camp nears, the NHL turns its focus to Las Vegas, Nevada, where Charlie McAvoy will be the Bruins' representative at the North American Player Media Tour. Hi, my name is Charlie. This is my first day. I'm Cam Halbert, joined by Boston Bruins defenseman Charlie McAvoy. We're going to play some NHL 24. Thanks for joining me today. Absolutely. What was your go-to childhood video game? This one for me, this makes me think of like my family. I have four siblings, so we would play like Super Mario Party. And you got like four controllers around the GameCube and, uh, and everybody's playing together. Like, I always want, I liked Luigi. I don't know why. I was a Luigi guy. It looks good. Oh, lip out. Hey, what's happening, man? How are you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you How's too. everything? Good, good. summer? Yeah, yeah. yeah, it was good, man. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, flew by. You got married, right? I got married. Congrats. Yeah, That's thank awesome. you so much. Thank you. Yeah. It was a good time. Jonesy, what's up? How's it going? How are you doing? How are you? How's the summer? It was good, man. It was fun. How about you? Same nice. nice. Legendary player? Yeah. I'll have Bobby Orr right on the left side next to me. Yeah. Charlie, there's a stack of three pancakes on the plate. Which pancake are you? Uh, I'm foundation pancake. I'm on the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, up. of course. Supporting the team. Get on my shoulders. Okay, how many hockey sticks can Charlie take in 60 seconds? All right, well, these are so all good. Gonna They're good to toss the tape job then, all of them. I'm going to start the timer right And then I'm, I got to, okay. Let me grab. And that's, that's actually what David Koshnoff does. Okay. Pasta. Bing, bing, bing. Five, four, three, two, one. One. Take a tie. Does that count as cheating? I don't, that's actually a tape job that he uses. Over at Logan Airport, the Bruins have joined forces with JetBlue and their iconic Bear Force One for a unique fashion show to unveil the team's brand new centennial season jerseys. And some familiar models will be walking the runway tonight. Let me just do this. Uh. <laughs> Your first pose is going to be mid screen right here. Okay. Is that how we're posing? Whatever you would like. If I'm poking it out, I can do that. I've been working all summer on that. And what's our pose when we stop? Whatever you would like, as long as it's. Does my shirt have to stay on? <laughs> yes. Yes. That is true. All right. So, how? What's our speed? Uh, like a regular All right. knot. <laughs> I didn't want to test it. There you go. That's a good so speed I just, right there. Hey, hey, good to see you. Thanks for coming. Brandon Carlo, Milan Lucic, and Brad Marchand know what it takes to perform under pressure. So as the event begins and their modeling debut nears, there's some serious prep happening backstage. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to... Yeah, I'll wear a hair. I'll wear a hat. Hell yeah. Just make me look sexy. I want a ball cap. I got like Timberlands on. You look like uh Buddy, I look so hot. You look like Happy Gilmore right yeah, now. Yeah, Timberlands on. 
I'm gonna get a modeling gig after tonight, guys. I'm telling you this right now. Head model. <laughs> Boot model. I got this. Hey, I watched through that a lot growing up. So yeah? yeah, yeah. But I can't wait to watch <laughs> you then. Just have fun with that song, guys. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. See, n n now that we're in action, I got like nervous all of a sudden. No, but don't worry yeah. about it. You gotta own the moment, boys. We're in the Boston Bruins Centennial home uniform, Brandon Carlo! Give it up for the Lions Blue Give it up for Brad Marshall! Oh! Thanks, bro. Anything you want to say to the fans ahead of the next season? Yeah, uh, obviously last year was uh, an incredible year. Um, you know, something that we hope we can build on again this year. Uh, some new faces, some old faces. We got our boy back. Um, so we're going to have a lot of fun. We're really excited to get going and uh, hopefully we can have uh, another big year. Absolutely look forward to it. All right, let's do it one more time. Thank you. It has been a long off-season, but the black and gold are finally back. Training camp and a new season await, but it will not be easy replacing those who have moved on. Now, a new generation of leaders must carry on. There will be many new faces on the roster this year, as well as some familiar ones. But your Boston Bruins will be ready for their 100th year as they drop the puck on a brand new season.